Daniel Day here with Corbin University head women's basketball coach Dave Bali. Dave, we're here for the 2015-16 women's basketball season preview. Uh, a big year ahead. You're entering your third year uh, in this stint at the helm of the Warriors. Your eighth year overall here at Corbin. What continues to motivate you as a coach year after year? I love teaching the game. Uh, being a professional teacher, I enjoy teaching a number of things, but if I look over my uh, number of years that I've been at the college level, I probably find more enjoyment trying to strategize a team into victories. How did the team's summer mission trip to the Dominican Republic help prepare your team for this upcoming campaign both on and off the court? So if we take a look at the basketball playing, we played against uh, the national team twice and then a bunch of their people were also in the best club team we played. So we played some really good competition. So those, are the, those ladies that are coming back this year, um, they played some really physical basketball. Now did that prepare us for this year? In one case, yes, we, we got to uh, go against a really, really good team, a group of ladies uh, from the DR. But we also played more physical than we're allowed to here in the States. It was a rugby match the first game and we just went, whoa, this is not the way we get to be playing on stateside. Um, off the floor, we looked at uh, uh, the things that affected us while we were there. It was an unbelievable trip. I mean, unbelievable. You, you see how other people live other than uh, those that are in the States, and it was a life-changing thing for each one of us. So every day was a new adventure, and God opened up our eyes to some things that uh, we'll never forget. They lost some key players from last year's squad, including, including Tara Van Rierheisen. Which returners then are you expecting to step up and fill those roles for the Warriors this season? We have four returning starters back. Um, with some top reserves that played significant minutes last year. And we're going to probably resemble more of a, uh, a track team this year than we have in the past. Uh, we will shoot the ball quickly. We will press like we did last year. And, uh, we're looking for Jade to have another really good year. Uh, there isn't a player that I've been around in 30 years of college basketball that has prepared herself totally to be the best player she can be. And Sadie had a really good year last year. Peyton had the year that we anticipated. And Julia's playing like her old self again. So we're, we're anticipating those four who have started a lot of games here to uh, keep the Warrior basketball tradition alive. Which newcomers then should we expect to see an impact this year? We brought in a couple of uh, freshman wings that are going to get playing time right away. Uh, both of them can shoot it. Um, both of them are decent runners. One is a really good runner. She'll stretch the defense for us. And uh, uh, she'll get a little time at point guard as well. And uh, Matea is gonna get significant minutes and she'll also get some playing time at the point. Uh, Matea has uh, really worked hard in the weight room. Spent a lot of time shooting last spring. But uh, Lindsay from uh, Prairie High School in Vancouver and Heidi from uh, Klamath Falls, uh, both are really good players. So you put together a challenging schedule as usual. What should Warrior fans look forward to this year, especially with the new look at the CCC? We, we got a couple of games over at uh, uh, Lewis and Idaho against a couple of NEI ones. Uh, we fared well with uh, four of them last year and uh, we'll, we'll uh, go to battle with them again. The conference, as you said, has changed. Uh, we're still gonna play Concordia one time this year. We are looking at uh, Multnomah, looking at uh, Walla Walla University, and then our conference, uh, Eastern and Southern, got a lot of players back, and both of them were excellent programs last year. Uh, Northwest Christian down uh, in Eugene, uh, they're really big, uh, but there's a number of schools that got a lot of people back. So it's going to be an interesting race. It definitely should be. Now, what goals and expectations that have you set forth before this Warrior Women's basketball team? I've always believed that you can't control what the other teams bring in and what they do. 
uh, you need to prepare yourself to go to uh, go to battle, and that means you have to be ready yourself. Um, are we in shape? I think we've done a really good job of progressing the ladies physically. They've been lifting weights. They uh, they did things all summer. They sent in reports as to what they were doing. Um, so it looks like our team has done what they need to do in the off season to be better than last year. Uh, we won 17 games last year. Uh, we are definitely going to be looking a little different size-wise, uh, but we got some, we have some ladies that can shoot the ball, and so we're looking to uh, run it up, push the pace, and see if other teams can stay with us. Uh, certainly, when we play other teams that also like to run, it's going to be a track meet. And it's going to be interesting to watch. There should be a lot of excitement. So, but we we really work hard on trying to um, be a cohesive team, and this group is doing everything last year's group did. Uh, they're they're praying together. They're uh, playing together, and I mean outside of basketball, they're hanging out with one another. So they're developing some cohesiveness because we have a number of upperclassmen, five seniors, and we have uh, six freshmen. So we're looking like we're North Pole, South Pole. So it's going to be interesting to see how everything comes out. Should be a fun year, Dave. Uh, thanks for joining us again today, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you.